So now we are here in the web form page. Let's go ahead and click create a new web form. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is Okay, so let's just Okay, so so the first thing that you're going to do now is to select a template that a web would for web form would look like or whatever you want whatever you like for the templates to be. So there as you can see there are a lot of templates right here and you may able to go ahead and look for them if you want. This default right one here is nice looking but I would like to choose this one. Okay. This is because my website is all about cars. So I'm going to choose this one. This is very great. There is an option of choosing your color. Then I'm going to pick this color, the blue one. Then after which I'm going to load the template. So here the template is now loading right here in the bottom so let's start to customize it oh I guess I don't like the blue so I will choose black for now okay so since this form is for five hundred dollar off coupon so I'm gonna put and say something right here in the header since I'm I have already prepared text for the header so I'm just going to paste it here so my he header would say signing up for the Atlanta Auto Finance newsletter is free you will automatically receive a $500 off coupon, coupon to print and show your sales consultant so save it now I'm gonna get rid of this name field and I'm going to leave the email field so on the next one the submit icon I'm gonna edit this one and say get five hundred dollar off coupon dollar off coupon and save it after that uh, you can see the we respect your email privacy it is cool because we can let the subscribers feel safe when they are using the form so I'm just going to leave it then the next one I think I'm going to take it off as well as the footer and lastly you may resize the form if you want just click on the right side okay after that I think I'm all done customizing the form so I'm gonna go and hit save web form and then cl click go to step 2 after which so now I'm ready to click the go to step 2